going on, everybody? You got some SGC back in. Now, most of you guys are going to see these cards. These were all cards I deemed not to send to PSA because I knew they had a chance of nines but could then come back eights. With that being said, you're going to be probably surprised at some of the greats. Some of you guys probably watched the live stream when I was going over my own cards. Um, this took about... The time I mailed it to got it back, probably like under two, just under two weeks, like 12, 13, maybe even 14 days. The only thing I can say I'm not happy about with it is they mailed this back to me. A little bubble wrap stacked like this in a small flat rate box. That's the only thing I can say bad. All right. Only thing I didn't like, I mean, now you all know PSA sends these in a box and they can get smashed too. But it's a little bit better packing job than what was done on this. All right, you guys ready? You ready? Ready, ready, ready? All right. Jalen Hurts, Silver Prism. Look, this was con concourse level. Came back a nine. Um, pretty much what I would have expected. I was, thought this would probably be a PSA 8, to be honest, when I looked at it. But I figured, what the heck, let's try it because they got .5 grades in it. And I'm happy with a nine on to it. Definitely happy with a nine on to it. Now, as you guys can see also, I cannot store these in my regular box. Just so you guys can see, as PSA, you can see SGC behind, a little bit bigger of a slab. Both taller and wider. All right. Up next. This was a shocker. The next two cards are my biggest shock. Actually, there's three cards in here that are big shockers. Justin Herbert, this was premier level, had issues. 10. And I mean, we went over this, and I remember finding there's a couple of uh, dimple marks in here that you can probably still see. I'm in shock at 10, though. They've got a 10. I'd expect a 9 on this. You can almost see them if I go... Well, I guess you can't. The light, right above the, well, you're right there in the light. I'll take it off. You can just see it right there to the right of the light, those two little marks. So I didn't take a 10, or even get a 9, maybe. All right, next up. Y'all remember Lou Bob, Topps Chrome Sapphire? Had some uh, hidden scratches up around in here. 10. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just showing you guys what I found and how they graded out. I figured this would have been... An 8, coming back from PSA, possibly a 9. I didn't think it would 10 anywhere, to be honest. Maybe GMA. I don't know. 10, though. Next one up. I could have sent this in. I figured it would have been a 9 uh, for PSA. Anthony Edwards, hollow orange laser. Now, with the .5 scale, I took a gamble on this. Did come back, and there was just, it was this bottom right corner was just a little bit crazy to me. And when we looked it over. So did come back a 9.5. Did come back a 9.5. Orange laser. I don't know the price on these at all, at all, because I haven't looked them up at all. All right, this one here shocked me. Blaze Jordans. You guys remember all the scratches that were in here? Into the car itself. You can see the one to the right of where that light is right there going down. And there were some up in here. This one got 9510. 9510. Maybe they're get, letting some of them scratch marks be in them because they know they're in uh, all the chrome. I don't know. Just really surprised me, to be honest. Next one up, same one, 910. This had two light marks up there, scratches I remember offhand. Some of the marks offhand on here are from the cases itself, but 910. 910. This one I'm going to probably put up for sale. This one here would have been the one I'd have thought would have had a better grade, to be honest. But, hey, I'm, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Up last. I figured this would have been a PSA 8 too. Actually, I thought the Jordans and all that would have came back 8s because the scratch marks in them. 10-9. 10 auto, which is kind of surprising because it's real faint right here. 
They might have a little more leeway than Beckett. This is out of 150, Ed Howard. 9-10. 9-10. So not bad overall. I mean, I spent uh, 7 times 30, 210 plus shipping, like 240. So I'll definitely get my money back onto this stuff. I think SGC, a um, little more lenient in grading than most companies. Nothing bad about it. Not, but I can see why the 10s don't sell for the price that they do offhand. Um, but I will still get value on this because somebody's going to want to crack these open for some reason and probably try to regrade them Beckett or PSA. And then they're going to look at them and be like, dang it. And that serial number is on there. So it would be quite interesting to see offhand. Um, like I said, I, the Herbert, I was surprised on the Lou Bob, not, I was kind of with a 10 because like I said, the marks were like where the atomic, like Sapphire pieces were at Edwards. I was pretty happy with, I figured it would probably got a nine five. The blaze Jordans. I'm just, I'm in shock over, especially a nine five ten. But again, I can't be upset at all by it. I mean, they're going to sell, they, they graded them. But I've never done very well with Bowman Chrome through the years, if you guys have watched. Uh, I don't know. Bowman's just been a like a Bowman no-no to me most, unless I buy buy the card or win the card in a Raz. But overall, not bad. Very quick on getting the stuff back. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, the biggest thing I was concerned about is how they shipped them back to me. Other than that, I mean, grade-wise, I'm, I'm really, really happy. I was expecting to see some eights and eight and a half so on there, and they didn't hit it. So not bad overall. Uh, some of the stuff might be on the website. I don't know how I'm gonna get sell them yet. Still got some weekend time to process all this and get some stuff out. But if you guys have stuff you look at, you deem it's not really PSA worthy, give SGC a shot because at least you're gonna get a slab by a company, and SGC's known. Okay, I mean. You're going to get some value out of it, and it saves you the heartache, basically, of uh, somebody trying to say, oh, it's not going to grade well. Well, it's graded by SGC, who technically pretty much is a third company right now out there, number three in the list. Some people might argue and say it's HGA, but I'm still thinking it's uh, SGC followed by probably CG, the CGS. Yeah, CGS. I'm trying to think of comments are CGC. And probably HGA coming in number five right now. But not bad. Not bad overall, um, grade-wise. I've never been a fan of the tuxedos. Just not for me. I mean, it's a cool-looking case, and this is what gets me. It's just this label, the way it is up here. If they would just... If they would trim this case down a little bit to be matching with PSAs... I like the black border, don't get me wrong. But they just need to do some of that label just to make it different even if they were to block this in and make the serial number a little bigger maybe here i don't know but something but all right everybody appreciate it hopefully you had a good fourth of july and hopefully the hawks won on saturday don't know yet still waiting on it but you guys take care have a good one appreciate the support and i'll catch y'all next video